Hi guys, how's it going? In this video, we'll look at installing a new Laravel application, and you'll uh, you'll notice that as soon as you install this application, it gives an error that PHP warning, which is it requires a couple of different files, which uh, basically breaks the application. So we will see how we can troubleshoot this error in this video. So let's create a new application. Um, I'm going to call it Test App. It's going to pull out the latest development branch, which is uh, probably five point 5.1 or 5.2 but that that's okay uh, what we what we're trying to say is install the latest uh, development branch of Laravel and once the application is ready it's going to give you a bunch of errors and I'm going to show you how to uh, how to resolve those, those errors um, just okay here we are so it's complaining about PHP warning require uh, bootstrap auto auto load dot PHP um, and again offload and, and stuff like that runtime exception that's okay so why why this happens i'm going to show you how to fix this error and why this happens so we're going to uh, clear the screen or just leave it like that for now we're going to open the editor i'm going to just bring my editor here and this is my one of the applications i've been working on and i'm going to open this application uh, which is here test tab in a new directory, new window. Now, the reason it happens is th this happens is um, if you come here and open up the terminal, if you notice that we have a composer.json which has uh, which has a couple of different dependencies. For example, Faker, Mockery, PHP Unit, CSS Selector, and all those dependencies. Now, for some reason, this these dependencies aren't included on the uh, on the Git. So it's trying to pull the latest branch of Laravel, but these dependencies aren't copied down to our local machine. So there is no vendor folder. So that's the reason it's it's complaining about um, that it can't find these files, which is required uh, autoload.php. It cannot find, uh, for example. So if you just run compose, you can try to run like any command. For example, you can say PHP artisan and let's say config clear and nothing will work because it cannot find these files, which is vendor slash auto load. Now, if you see vendor slash auto load, there is no folder called vendor. So all you have to do is install those dependencies and run in your root in the root of your project you just run composer install either here or you can also run here um, you just have to go inside the folder after installing the app so once you have installed the app like so just go inside cd into that folder and run composer install and what it does is essentially installs all these dependencies once the dependencies are available it will be able to find the autoload.php inside the vendor uh, folder. I'll show you once it's all finished. So just give it a moment or so. Some of them are core uh, dependencies for Laravel itself to work and some of those are like development uh, for, for development uh, purposes they are helpful libraries but not really essentially like required but some of them are really um, we must use them so previously they were all part of the Laravel package but then people create a new application and they forget to run composer update and they were having they were they were probably using uh, outdated uh, libraries so part of the reason they don't want to include this in the git is that the moment you install your new application you run compose install so the latest updated libraries are downloaded which is which makes complete sense because um, okay good so now it's giving some recommendation that's okay we don't need to worry about that so it, it has done everything for us now we go back to our app and we see that there is a vendor folder in that vendor folder, if you go inside the vendor folder, so come to the right bottom, and they have autoload.php, which is autoloading all the class map for us. 
um, basically it, it returns the, the path and um, that's it and now if you try to run this command which is config player it's going to run without any problem and I hope this video helps you save some time and make sure to subscribe and give it a like thank you so much I'll see you in the next video